Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a crazy blog. I never thought, I was like, what should I do a blog about? What should I do a video about? And I'm only thinking about one thing because I'm freaking freaked out. So I've been having these medical issues, right? I'm gonna tell you my, my whole story because I got a crazy diagnosis yesterday from my doctor. And like, I, I don't even know how to think yet. So I had these kidney stones, right? Over like the Christmas holiday. And I felt like I was gonna die. Like my lower, my, my back, my lower right hand side and the back here started hurting like a mother. So I'm like, I'm dying, I'm dying. So I go to the emergency room because I was dying because I'm a wimp. And they do a bunch of tests, more importantly, a CAT scan on my areas and whatever the case. Well, after the tests, after the night in the hospital, they basically said, dude, you got a crazy kidney stone. Uh, take these uh, painkillers, this and this and this, you'll be fine when you pass it. But while we did the CAT scan, we found something weird on your bladder, some sort of a mass. They were calling it things like a mass, a polyp, all these weird words. And all I'm thinking to myself is, there's some weird thing on my bladder that sounds terrible. Anyway, so they go, you need to start, you need to go to a urologist and get some tests done. And that's where I've been going lately. I've been had a couple appointments at the urologist, which let me tell you, fellas, if you ever get told you, get, you need to go to the urologist, get ready to get a test done in an area that you never want ever any tests done. So, I mean, I look at, I mean, look at this place. They have man stirrups. Do you know what I'm saying? Freaking freaky. So I go to the urologist and they take a look inside my bladder, which was a ridiculously painful experience because I was totally awake when they're doing it. But whatever, they ch they checked it out. And I definitely have a tumor inside my bladder. And it was crazy because the doctor's like, all right, well, it wasn't what we thought it was. It wasn't like a, just a polyp or like a, a, a growth. It's, uh, it's definitely a tumor and it's a 50% chance it's benign, a 50% chance it's malignant, and all these big words that I associate with terrible stuff like cancer and everything else. So then he says, well, you know, it's a, probably a 50% chance that it could be cancer. I'm like, what? So now I have to have surgery in three weeks, and they said they'll be able to take the entire thing out, no problem, it'll be gone out of my system, gone. If they find out after they tested that it is cancer, then I have to get one of those crazy tests at the urologist once every three months, possibly for the rest of my life, but that's fine because at least I won't have cancer. Now, uh, I'm definitely not like trying to do this blog to make anybody worried about me. As you can see, I, I have a smile on my face. I figure out ways to um, be very depressed sometimes, but I can figure out how to look positively, kind of. Um, so rest assured that whatever's wrong with me can totally be fixed. I just have to go through a ridiculously uncomfortable surgery in like three weeks, but whatever, it's fixed, I'll be fine. But Dude, what if I would not have gone to get those kidney stones checked out? What if I would not have gone to the hospital because I was being a wimp because I hurt so bad and they did a CAT scan, they never would have seen that on my bladder. My doctor told me that's not something I would have felt because I didn't feel it. I had no idea it was even there. It's not like something I knew was there. But literally because I got lucky enough to pass kidney stones, which how did I become lucky again doing that? They did a crazy test and saw what's going on with me inside. So if anything in the, in the world, fellas, Hit the doctor for a checkup every once in a while. Ladies, yo, I'm just saying, if you haven't been to the doctor in, the wa in a while, you know, don't wait till the oil light's on to change the oil in your car. You, you, you take some preventative measures. Go in, go check it out. What if I would not have gotten a CAT scan? I could have let that go five, 10 years. How big would that tumor be then? Dude, crazy, right? All right, I'm done. Hit me up, go to the doctor.